new marketing manager, Kayla Coronel. Welcome to the show. Yeah. Welcome. Uh, before we get started, oh, I gosh. have some U.S. staff and agency golf balls for you guys. I wow. can't thank you enough, Ben. <laughs> I can't thank you thank enough. You. I'll use these tomorrow on the golf course. All right. I'm, nice. I'm, I'm giving them to you because I figure you will spray them all over the course. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I will. I'll make sure they get left out on the course for you. <laughs> there you go. So, there you go. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. I, uh, I used a uh, sleeve that uh, Jeff Hawley gave me at the Chamber Golf. Oh, well, there you go. So How'd we, you do in the Chamber Golf? We shot 10 under, so not bad. Wow. We Respectable. Did, we did not. You did not. So we shot, I think, like 3 under, <laughs> and I think the winner was like 20 under. Yeah, we, yeah. we were, yeah, we're, in crazy. The, we're in the have fun bracket. Exactly. For sure. I use a whole box. Well, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. This is actually great. Perfect. <laughs> You've saved me a lot of money, Ben. Thank you. Next time I take my father golf. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so uh, some interesting things going on. First, let's uh, welcome you to uh, yeah. U.S. Staffing. How, Thank you. Uh, talk a little bit about your background and uh, how you got to U.S. Staffing. Yeah, so I graduated with my undergrad in management in 2017, and then I started my professional career in marketing over in Australia. Oh, wow. I did have a one-year holiday work visa, and I worked for a sales and marketing company going down the whole East Coast doing events and door-to-door -door and things like that and then just prior to accepting the offer at US staffing I was working in the automotive industry doing lead management and email campaigns and things like that and during that I've actually started going for my master's degree and then I've just accepted the position with US staffing and I'm very excited to extend my career and my skills further it's very wow. exciting Ben, yeah. and obviously <laughs> coming from a uh, uh, background with a lot of different experience in marketing and yep. I know digital marketing is very important in, uh, in what you guys do. Oh yeah, absolutely. And uh, I mean, we're just excited to have Kayla come on board. In fact, we interviewed for well over a month for this position. Okay. And after her interview, uh, Ashley walked you out and everyone came back in the room and they just said, she's, she's the one that we're going with for mm -hmm. sure. So, <laughs> yeah, so we're really excited to have Kayla on board. Yeah, very impressive uh, background. Thank can, you. Can you say something in Australian for us? <laughs> <laughs> I have the worst Australian accent, but I'll have to bring my husband around. He is Australian. There you go. <laughs> is it true that you, you can't have ranch dressing in Australia? Can't have what? Ranch dressing. I've never heard that I before. I said that yesterday. I've heard that. <laughs> Did you order ranch dressing in Australia? You know, I can't remember ever actually ordering it, so yeah, now I, I'm going to have to ask. Think you <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I don't think you can. Are you from, uh, you're from the area originally, so yep. it's got to be exciting uh, kind of coming back to a place you grew up. Yeah, definitely. Yep, I grew up in the Hanover area, so it's nice to be close to home. Nice. Did you go to uh, Hanover Horton? I did. Yep, oh, I graduated in great. 2013. Awesome. And really, that's for, for you as an employer, being able to retain homegrown talent is, is very important. That's really our right. future as a community. No, absolutely. We are uh, huge advocates of being community partners. And um, it's just kind of like a, a gem in the rough to find <laughs> someone who is as well-traveled and educated as Kayla, but still from you know, the local community. So that's that's very, very big part. So, um, you know, job, job news is all the news, you oh know, boy. it's, a, it's amazing. It. And I, yeah. I already threw you this number and you'll have to maybe make some sense of it to me, but the gap between available jobs mm -hmm. and our workforce that's available for those jobs is 5.46 million. Yeah, <laughs> a bit of a labor gap there. A bit, yeah. Um, yeah, no, so it doesn't make sense. Um, I, there's, I, I can't make sense of that number. Uh, that doesn't yeah. make any sense to me. But um, I, I, we may be on the verge of a recession. I don't know. We'll see. Um, typically, that does get people off the sidelines and back mm -hmm. engaging with the workforce when, once we hit a recession. Um, and so my hope, ideally, is we don't go into recession, but it's just enough to get people right. off the sidelines back into the workforce because everybody's looking for work. Yeah. I don't care what industry you're in. Everybody is looking for work. We hear it every day. We, we hear from new uh, prospective customers and current customers every day. They just, they need more people and more people. And take advantage of the jobs while they are available, right? Because you know, we're yes. we were talking about, uh, mm -hmm. I think, CVS and some other places going to um, these automated registers and things like that, mm -hmm. you know, so the, some of these jobs that are available at 15, 20 an hour on the side now, mm -hmm. those are gonna be gone forever soon. Absolutely, and, and those jobs, 
a year and a half ago were $13 an hour, now right. we're $17 an hour. So there's been considerable wage inflation, which is good for the workers. But yeah, absolutely, right now those jobs are available and a year from now I don't know that as many mm -hmm. will be. I can't imagine four million jobs will be available. Right. Yeah. Well, you're never going to be able to go into CVS and mix your own prescription. Well, that's for sure. That, that is, is true. That is yeah, for sure. Absolutely yeah, good true. point. Mm -hmm. well, but maybe. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. You, yeah. You do never know. Marketing, really, f f for uh, retaining or attracting uh, talent, has got to be the biggest challenge because it's so competitive. Everybody's. 4.4 million people left their jobs in April in the United States. So you're always trying to compete to keep, right? <laughs> yeah. How, so, how do you stand out? Uh, because there are other people looking for the same group of, of talent. So, how we should staff out, or staff out, stand out in the staffing industry, we have to set ourselves apart from the other staffing agencies and the other job postings that are out there and make people want us to help them so that we can help them get back into the community and have it more of a community thing rather than just throwing people in jobs just to get them into work. And you told us uh, all the qualifications and how uh, attractive that Kayla was to mm -hmm. uh, hire, but what was it about U.S. staffing that made you come aboard? So I've actually, I heard some very good things about the company before applying, so that definitely put a good mis message in my mind about it. And then just staffing in general, like I said, it's a community thing, and I really like being able to help out the community. So bringing people in to find the job that's right for them so that they can support their family and give back to the community, that's huge for me. So it definitely helped with making my decision on accepting the job like offer. We should write that one down. That was good. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the, uh, it's summer, so there's a, it's a, a, a separate job market, isn't it? It is. So a lot of seasonal, and actually they started hiring for a lot of those positions back in March. Okay. And we, we do have quite a few seasonal customers, especially uh, in the Jackson location as well as uh, in like the Jonesville, Hillsdale area. So yeah, no, there is the seasonal opportunities um, and we've, we've filled quite a bit of those. But this summer, we are doing our, uh, last summer we did our summer of giveaways where we had quite a few things that we gave away. This year, we kind of doubled down on that and we are giving away $10,000. Ooh. Uh, 5,000 in June, 5,000 in July. So if you want to learn more, just go yeah. to. <laughs> I do, I'm more <laughs> right now. Yeah. I want to learn more. Yeah, I'd like to learn more. No, but uh, yeah, contact us at US Staffing Agency. Uh, any any of our branches can yeah. help you help you with some more information on that. In case you're looking for a side gig, there. Yeah, well, I was gonna say. <laughs> um, but obviously, uh, employers, uh, if if you're sick of banging your head against the wall, um, call Ben and his team. Um, Absolutely. It's, uh, they'll they'll look in different areas than uh, we may think to look. It's yeah, it's, and we uh, vet pretty well. Yeah. So we well, learn our customers pretty well, and then we do a lot of vetting with the candidates that we send them. One of the things that I think is pretty cool, you actually will uh, hold a job fair right on the, uh, the, the employer's site and do all that mm -hmm. for the employer. Absolutely. Yeah, we've done that. We, we're doing that just about every month, it seems like now. <laughs> wow. But yeah, no, we do that quite often. And no, it's some that, uh, a service that we can provide to our customers, certainly. And uh, some they, they appreciate. And it allows us to attract a little bit different pool because it's a separate from our uh, office, so we can start marketing and, and gain some candidates from that area as well. Yeah, I think a lot of employers they, they've given up. You, they'll they'll put a you know a real estate type sign out on their front yeah. lawn. Yeah. You know, please, please come to work. Yeah, that's not necessarily uh, what the five star candidate comes into or responds. <laughs> right, <laughs> exactly right. The sign yep. out front. So, well, if anybody needs a job, needs an employee team at U.S. Staffing would love to hear from you. Plus, who knows, you could win $5,000. Yeah, that's right. Come on in. Thanks for coming in today. Yeah, thanks thank for having you guys. us. And thanks for the golf balls. Yes, yeah, thank you, you, you very much. <laughs> the uh, new marketing manager at U.S. Staffing, Kayla Coronel, and the U.S. Staffing president, Ben Jones. Good day. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got golf balls. We should continue talking about golf, and Let's we will. Uh, Phil Fishmeister's here. He's next. Stay tuned.